God bless everyone who's watching me right about now. The word that I have for you is going to uplift you. Some of you are going through a struggle that you cannot comprehend. A war that you don't know how and when it will end or how it's going to go away. But I've come to encourage you that God is your hiding place. This is the word I have for you. That God is your hiding place. He will preserve you from whatever is trying to destroy your life. Brothers and sisters, God will surround you with songs of deliverance. So do not worry. Do not be anxious. Because God is going to hide you. I love the scripture that says, that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous man runs to it and he is safe. My brothers and sisters, that is the truth. That the name of the Lord is the only strong tower. Other towers look to be strong, but they are weak. When you run to, your, to other towers, other towers could be your friends, your neighbors, your governments. Uh, you, you, your surroundings, it could be people you call family. When you run to them, you will not be safe. But good news is that when you run to the name of the Lord, you are going to be saved. Because the name of the Lord is a strong tower. You will be saved from what is coming up against you. God will preserve you from what is coming. I'm reminded of a scripture of um, Lot and his family in that God preserved them from the land of Sodom and Gomorrah. That when God was ready to destroy that land, he preserved Lot. And Lot was not destroyed. Another ex incident, another example, is Noah and his family that God preserved them from the floods. God will preserve you. He will always find a way to preserve you. I can go on and give you many examples of men and women of God that God has preserved. Yes. Another one is uh, Adokas. I love this story about Dorcas. Some people call her Tabitha, that she was dead. But God preserved her and raised her up from the dead. God raised up from the dead because she was a righteous woman. She was a giver. To one extent, even the people who were around her noticed that something had left them. So they called a man of God to come and pray for her so that she can rise up from the dead. Brothers and sisters, God will preserve you. Just like he preserved Sadrach, Mesach, and Abednego from the burning furnace. The same God that preserved them is the same God that will preserve you from whatever you are going through. Some of you, you could be going through debt. To another, it could be false accusations or court cases or relationships that have been draining you. Some of you people have been coming up against you, enemies, haters, witchcraft. But God is going to preserve you. This is the word that is going to help you. This word is the word that is truth. The word is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. is going to preserve you. I want to read to you a scripture that is in the book of uh, Psalms chapter 32, verse 5 to 7. Psalms chapter 32 verse 5 to 7 and it reads i acknowledged my sin to you and my iniquity i have not hidden i said i will confess my transgressions to the lord and you forgave the iniquity of my sin for this cause everyone who is godly shall pray to you in a time when you may be found, they shall not come near him. You are my... I repeat. In a time when you may be found, 
surely in a flood of great waters they shall not come near him you are my hiding place you shall preserve me from trouble you shall surround me with songs of deliverance the scripture says that god is your hiding place he shall preserve you from trouble he shall surround you with songs of deliverance that is a very powerful word that god will preserve you from trouble he will surround you with songs of deliverance brothers and sisters the word is that god is going to deliver you from whatever you are going through god is going to pull you out of that affliction out of that trouble so can you trust god in whatever you are going through that he who began a good work in you will accomplish it brothers and sisters that sorrow is just for a night but in the morning joy is coming joy is coming so hold on on to the promises of god because his promises are yes and amen this scripture was written by the psalmist to an extent that he was going through a lot of things and the scripture says that he acknowledged his sin and his iniquity he did not hide his iniquity from god he came to god for forgiveness and he wrote of this that god surrounds him with songs of deliverance brothers and sisters god will surround you with songs of deliverance god will rescue you from that thing that has been consuming you right from the start of this year this is the end of this world if this message has been a blessing to you and you want to be a blessing to this ministry you can do so through my paper which is in the about section also Follow me on my social media platform. Follow me on Facebook. And until next time, God bless you.